Hello Taurus, Happy New Year. I'm Kathleen Robinson of Karma Queen's East Yorkshire Tarot and Five Tarot. Why not indulge yourself and order my most comprehensive 12 month tarot reading in a beautiful ebook format? It's at least 45 pages long and compatible with all devices and all for a mere £20. Contact me at karmaqueens at gmail.com for more information. So this month you've been brought the aids of rods reversed. And it can herald intense passion, but one that may quickly burn out. There can be lots of excitement at the beginning, only to fizzle out when commitment's mentioned. So long-term romances may not be favoured by this card. And if you're in a relationship, it can suggest that this moment, your enthusiasm for each other may be at a little bit of a low stage. Sometimes it's a simply a matter of learning to communicate better or making sure you dedicate some time for one another. Efforts required to ignite passions once more. It can just be the feeling of lack of being able to communicate and some blockages there. So it's not a biggie, it just needs to be resolved. As far as your career goes, it means lack of inspiration. This deficit can manifest itself in a variety of ways. You might have a hard time brainstorming right now. And if your career requires a lot of creativity, it might seem that you're drained of ideas. And when you sit to write even simple letters or papers, you may find yourself staring at a blank page for longer than usual. This lack of creativity makes it a difficult time to start new projects or jobs. So timing is particularly unfortunate because you're also prone to frustration because of this lack of progress. Treat yourself with kindness and do things that tend to inspire you, inspire you as much when possible. Financially, it can suggest your finances may be taking a little bit of a dip at the moment. If you've seen um, this happening, start to prepare for a dip in your finances now. It's not a good time to invest in anything or make large purchases, and you're likely to lose whatever you set aside. Be particularly cautious about gambling or buying stocks or any practice that advertises high risk. Instead, rely on previous preparations you may have made to weather bits of economic uncertainty. Try to prepare the best you can for the worst, but hopefully it's just going to be for the best. So that's all from me, Kathleen Robinson. Until the next time.